In this Cypress tutorial, we are going to see how to use XPath in the Cypress web automation testing. Cypress directly will not support for the XPath. So if you look at this VS code, if I go to one of the JS file and if I use CY dot XPath, so I'm not getting any suggestions, uh, suggestions here, right? So to use the XPath in the Cypress web automation testing, so you need to follow these three steps. First, we have to install the plugin called Cypress XPath and then in the support folder, so we have the e2e.js file. We have to include this particular statement require Cypress XPath and then we can start using the Cypress dot that is a CY dot XPath and then we can add the XPath inside the XPath method. So let's start in installing this particular Cypress XPath. So here I will go to the project folder and here I will open the command prompt. And here I'll say npm install and then hyphen d cypress hyphen xpath. So that's it. So it will take few seconds and it will install the cypress xpath. And so we got the plugin got installed. Once you install the plugin, so we have to go to the VS code and here under support folder, there is a full class called, sorry. So there is a JavaScript file called e2e.js. So here we have to add the require. So here I'll say xpath. Then here you need to add the statement called require and under the require you need to add the cypress xpath so that's it so once you add this particular statement inside the e2.js file simply close the js file and if i come back to the one of the js file if i type cy.xpath now i am getting the xpath suggestion right now let's quickly create a test suit and test and inside that we will create the xpath locator flow here i'm adding the .js file as a cypress cypress xpath test dot cy dot js so that's it so simply i will go to the another js file and i will copy the whole code and i will come back to the cypress xpath test and here i will delete the not required code and here i will update the first suit name as cypress xpath suit and here i will add the test name as cypress xpath test so that's it so i will delete all these and i will delete the rest of the code so that's it guys now let's discuss the manual scenario first and we will come back to this vs code so we will navigate to this google page firstly and i'll copy this url and i'll put it inside the visit method that's it now we are going to identify the search text box so here we are performing total two scenarios first we will identify the search text box and we will clear this particular search text box and we will enter some data here, some keywords. So that is the first scenario. Second scenario is by using the XPath, we will identify the another element called YouTube and we will click on this particular YouTube link also. So let's see the first flow now. I will inspect this particular search text box. And if you see the HTML tag details, it has many attributes and values. So here I'm referring the one attribute called type is equal to search. So simply I will copy this and I will press control F. So here I'm writing an X path starting with two forward slash star. So here you can specify the tag name or star and followed by that inside the square brackets, you need to write the at the rate followed by 
attribute name and the we need to assign the respective value so that's it so after entering the xpath so it is highlighting with the text box so simply i will copy this xpath and i will go to the vs code so here i'll use the cy cypress command dot xpath and in the single quotation i will add the xpath here and then so i want to clear this particular text whatever is displayed then we will enter something here so here i will call the dot clear method so this will deletes the text which is there previously then in the same element in the same x path i am going to type something so here i'll say type method and here i will add the text as api testing by tester stock so that's it guys so this is a scenario right now so next scenario is we will identify the this particular youtube link and we will click on the youtube link by using the cypress x path now i will go to the vs code and i will select the javascript file which we have created just now and it is started the test execution so now it is loaded the google page and it, it has already cleared the text and it is searching with the api testing by sorry just it is entering the text in the text box so that's it guys and if you look at the look at the test status our test is our test is getting passed right now i will come back to the browser and now this time i am going to write another xpath which will identify the this particular link that is the youtube so after going to this particular google page we are going to click on the youtube link by using the xpath so simply i will enter first to forward slash and followed by that i am entering the star inside the square brackets i am entering text method equal to by using the text method i am going to identify the youtube link so here i am entering the youtube and if you see here on the left side that particular element is getting highlighted so we are able to identify the web element by using the xpath we have used a text method so after clearing this particular text box and we are entering something in that particular text box then i am going to use another cy command dot xpath so here i am adding the xpath what we have written just now and here i'll suggest click so this will perform the click operation that's it guys now i will go back to the cypress test runner and i will run the test once again so this is the first scenario got executed and if you look at the next scenario so it has clicked on the youtube also even you can click on the github also if you specify here github so it is it will click on the github also right so simply i will copy this particular xpath and i will paste it inside the xpath method so now this time our cypress command will click on the github link at the end of the test so this is how you can use the xpath in the cypress web automation testing so it is uh, throwing some error so let let me re-execute once again so it is very easy guys just you need to install the one plugin and after that you can start using the cy dot xpath and if you see here so finally it has clicked on the github link right so and also you can see the test status our test is getting passed